So I'm walking into work today and this lady's like, good morning. And I looked at her and I responded with a good morning because that's how you respond in the United States culture. Typically when someone greets you with a good morning, you say that back. But I'm Catholic and I'm outside of a Catholic church. And I thought, you know what? What the heck? Let's just do it. So I said, happy Easter. And she was like, oh, happy Easter to you. How was your Easter? Now, I know she totally meant like the weekend, you know, and like the time spent at home. But I thought, you know what? Easter's 50 days long. So it's still going on. Let's point that out. So I was like, it's still great because it's 50 days long. It's still going on. And she was like, 50 days long? And I was like, yeah, it's 50 days long. And she was like, that's a really long Easter. And I was like, yeah, I know, right? Happy Easter. He is risen indeed. It's God's grace on Tuesday. I'm Tim Ryberg. Thank you for watching. So the conversation I mentioned earlier actually did happen. So there are people in the world who do not realize that Easter is a time of joy. And I think it's because those of us who follow Jesus really don't get too excited about the good news. You know, the good news is Jesus is alive. You know, I think if someone nowadays was certifiably dead and we all knew them, we loved them, and then all of a sudden came back to life, without resuscitation they just came back to life not only that but they had said he would they were going to come back to life and then they did we would think that person was pretty special well you know that's obviously we all know that's what happened to jesus you know this this man was certifiably dead and he came back to life now just that right there is pretty incredible but then you think about who this man is the son of god our savior how when he died, hope was lost, or so it seemed. When he died, everything looked pretty bleak. And yet, here he is, alive and well, in heaven, preparing a place for us. He dwells with us, in us. You know, he comes to us and, uh, and offers us life and forgiveness and mercy in him. That should put a smile on your face. You know, that should change everything. Now, does it make life easier, like, situation-wise? No, of course not. Bad things happen. Jesus promised us this. And he, I mean, if you love your life, you'll lose it. But if you lose your life, for my sake, he says, you'll find it. Or, you know, no servant is greater than his master. If they persecute me, they'll persecute you. And this is true. Things get hard. Following Jesus is not necessarily easy, but it's simple. The reality of who Jesus is and what he has done for us can be put into a paragraph. Just recite the Nicene or Apostles' Creed. God loved us so much, he sent his only son to die on a cross rise from the dead, and overcome sin and death so that we could live forever. But not just live forever, but to live forever in relationship with him and other people. That's the good news. That's why we have a 50-day celebration of joy. That's why when people look at you, they should wonder, what is this person's thing? Like, what makes them so happy? And whatever it is, I want that. At Pentecost, when the apostles were, were full of joy, proclaiming the good news that Jesus Christ is alive, 3,000 people joined the church, came to, to, to follow Jesus, were baptized that day. Think about what could happen if the whole church entered into this. So enter into it this Easter season. As Father Larry preached on this last Sunday, live like you're loved. You know, it's a Hawk Nelson song. Live like you're loved. Go look it up. It'll inspire you. But just do that. Live like you're loved. Act like you've been set free. Trust that Jesus calling you enough because of him is enough to make you worthy of eternal life. That should put joy in your heart, no matter what your circumstances. The situation might not change, but you'll change because of the good news. So share the good news with everyone you know. Please subscribe to the God's Grace on Tuesday channel by clicking right here. Check out some of the other videos.
share the good news. And God's grace on Tuesday is a fun way to do that. Get the word out. Together we'll bring the whole world to Jesus Christ. God bless you and happy Easter.